Hi all. Great to see you again. Yes. So uh, now we enter into another very important uh, topic that is online reputation management or in short what is what we call it as ORM as well. Now um, ORM is very uh, important because in today's day and age wherein you've got so many billions and billions of different type of online users right who comes uh, to your platform with different expectations I would say you know and there are a few uh, users who will be leaving behind a good impression in terms of good feedback and a good comment but at the same time you'll also have uh, others you know who uh, could live behind a negative impression so to say with uh, bad comments or negative comments uh, uh, often we see trolls you know happening and all that stuff now uh, to control this uh, whole uh, bunch of activities and uh, enhance and uh, keep uh, your reputation as a brand uh, you know intact uh, is what uh, is the process that we call ORM uh, or online reputation management management so to say so it is a whole process of uh, keeping intact your brand um, in, you know in, in the right, with, with the right uh, health in, 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 in the right frame of in the right frame of things uh, is what is uh, the work of uh, online reputation management so to say why it's important uh, because you know uh, you know if proper online uh, reputation management is not done then it will definitely hamper your business in terms of lead sales and of course that way the overall business would be affected right so it's very important I mean uh, it goes without saying that uh, uh, especially in today's uh, age where you know we've got um, uh, so many different types of users so to say you know the volume is only increasing day by day right and more the volume obviously uh, more the complexity it, it we will have in terms of uh, so many different types of uh, people with different expectations coming to our platforms right and it is uh, for us to really you know um, keep our brand intact uh, through online reputation management okay so let me hop on to my uh, presentation PPT so to say yeah my presentation uh, okay mm. online reputation management. okay here we go online reputation management uh, so as a definition what is online reputation management online reputation management ORM is a process of keeping the online conversation of the brand healthy it is in a way keeping a check of the negative conversation so that it does not affect the brand reputation brand's reputation rightly said so it's very important that we have a strong online reputation management so that you know uh, we've got the reputation of our brand intact you know uh, and uh, keep our business healthy and strong. Okay. So online reputation management uh, ORM is very important in today's highly volatile world where bad news spread faster than the good. It can directly impact leads, sales and ultimately hamper the overall business. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, of course, I mean, if, if uh, uh, we all know that uh, good news is always good, you know, uh, it is always, always appreciated good news, uh, you know, it is always welcome. But if you see, it's one spark of bad news that really spreads like wild, wild, fire, wild wildfire because uh, that's how it is. I mean, that's how, I mean, we have to accept the fact that uh, it's a bad news that really, you know, uh, travels faster than a good news. So we really have to be very careful about the way we tackle the bad news, you know, uh, that comes to our platform now also very importantly to understand that just because somebody is giving uh, negative comments about you for a fault of yours your own service so you, you obviously don't have an automatic button that you just delete the comment and uh, you know your job is done that's of course not the whole intention you know because you have to be very sensitive as to how you're handling uh, uh, the bad news so to say so at times you have handled your care you have to you know respond in a, in, in, a, in a better manner so it's not that you know you get a negative comment on your platform and you just delete, delete it no that's not the way you obviously have to have to see uh, the uh, how genuine the problem is you know and what is the best way of tackling uh, the whole uh, you know whole problem so to say right uh, so because anything uh, that is you know 
that has gone beyond your control will definitely you know impact your leads sales and ultimately uh, you know your overall business will be impacted right yes okay now a few of the examples that really comes to my mind uh, in an example so to say in terms of how good a few of the good uh, companies have been you know handling online reputation management uh, in a proper manner is for example basics now basics is an indian clothing company why i have uh, given basics as one of the examples because i have had a personal experience about this that i would like to share with you now during uh, the sale season of basics i bought about um, four to five t-shirts a couple of pants and uh, you know trousers so to say and a belt you know which i really got at a, at a, at a good price so you know that's why i, I bought, bought uh, the entire stuff uh, but after about two three months, you know, I found that one of the t-shirt it, it had some problem So what happened was that the collar, you know, the, the collar, uh, the color of the collar it just uh, When I washed it, it just merged with the color of uh, The body of the t-shirt which both, both had different colors and it just got merged and it became it was almost uh, you know something that uh, I couldn't wear it anymore so I uh, directly contacted the um, what do you say uh, the customer care and uh, very immediately you know they they just uh, got back to me uh, saying that okay you please come to a store uh, it, it was uh, uh, a Bangalore store uh, and we'll see you know if it's uh, okay then we'll take the necess necessary uh, you know, steps. And then, so accordingly, I came to the store and told them so and so is the complaint number. And you know, and uh, so, uh, in fact, I also got a very uh, prompt mail from them, email. And uh, I told them, and uh, they took up the complaint. And then, this uh, you know, rightly said that okay, we'll check if it's really a genuine, genuine problem or what. And then we'll uh, send it to the factory store or wherever uh, department, so to say. And then we'll get back to you. I said, fine. So I uh, gave my uh, t shirt there, and then. Uh, uh, in, a, in a matter of about seven eight days, I got an SMS saying that you know um, you can come down to the store and uh, you know we have uh, got some approval so to say, and then you can uh, you accordingly you know you, you can take in next necessary steps so to say. So I came came uh, came down to the store and then they said okay we will replace it you uh, for the same amount you can choose another T-shirt. So I bought another T-shirt. Uh, I mean I not bought I got another t-shirt instead of that and i really felt good about the whole process you know it, it, it was so smooth they accepted their fault whatever it was now i never had any problems with the basics the brand before uh, so you know I, in terms of quality i really don't have much to talk about uh, against basics it, it was one of one of the cases one of the cases that happened uh, a very, very rare case I, I suppose and then they took the necessary step and i really felt good about it okay that's uh, the story doesn't end there then what happened uh, I got a, I think a mail, uh, yeah, I got a mail saying that, okay, uh, your, uh, this thing is solved. Now you please, uh, because I had also put up on the handles, uh, on the social handle somewhere, I bought a complaint. They said, uh, you please, on the same social handle, uh, on, on this same uh, listing, you please say that so-and-so, uh, you know, uh, what do you say, problem was there, and then they have uh, uh, taken care of it in a nice manner, uh, and then it will be good for us. They, they said that. So I accordingly did, did that, and I'm sure that that uh, one comment on, of mine, you know, it definitely uh, had given a good reputation uh, to the brand because there were other people who would have seen this comment saying, "Okay, this is how the, the quick step that Basics had taken." So that's the kind of online reputation management that any uh, good uh, any company who uh, does good OR and does, you know, and that's what Basics really did, and I really liked it the way they handled the whole situation. Right. The second. Uh, um, Example that I have given here is Mahindra. Now Mahindra, Mahindra again is an Indian company, and Anand Mahindra, the chief of Mahindra and Mahindra. If you see, he is very active on Twitter. Of course, he is not an online reputation manage manager, so to say that he has to take care of the online management uh, reputation management. But it happens by default when he, you know, when he handles a few cases, few few cases on on his own Twitter handle. Just imagine this chief of Mahindra and Mahindra. You know, he is active on Twitter and then solving people's, you know, problem because uh, uh, I've seen cases wherein people said, okay, uh, listen, uh, that happened to my, you know, car, new, uh, I mean, uh, new vehicle, uh, you know, uh, this is what uh, the response should have been. This is the response that I've got. Please do something about this. And he immediately 
uh, tweets back saying, okay, you please, uh, you know, this is what I have done. You please go to the uh, service center wherever and uh, that's how it is. And, and then that's how the pro problem gets solved. And then again, it tweet back comes from the same person saying, okay, thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Anand Mahindra. You really did a great, uh, uh, you know, you being the chief at, at the topmost position of such a big company like Mahindra and Mahindra, you know, you yourself took up the case and helped me, so to say. So even though it's not his job in terms of, you know, in terms of uh, an online reputation man manager kind of a job, but then he, it is also kind of online reputation management that happens at a very high level, right? And uh, I think uh, Anand Mahindra is one who has really, you know, uh, kept his own uh, brand uh, in a very, in a very respectable manner with uh, the kind of uh, social media handling that he does with people, you know, the, the way he connects with people, the way he connects with uh, a general public, you know, who, who comes with, uh, with his problem on his Twitter handle, so to say. And I, I think that's also one of the great examples, so to say. Of course, at a different level, so to say. Yeah, then Swiggy. Now, uh, why Swiggy? Because uh, now Swiggy is a food aggregator and you will obviously in this kind of a in industry, in this kind of a, sorry, in this kind of, uh, In this kind of a, uh, how do you say, uh, industry, you'll find a lot of complaints in terms of food uh, because food is one a, a very fickle kind of a, um, what do you say, uh, in, uh, thing, right? Because uh, when a customer orders a food, there could be so many problems because the food comes from so many different restaurants, right? I mean, you've got so, so many varieties of restaurants, and often you don't, as Swiggy, as a company, do not have control over all these restaurants. Let, let's accept the fact, right? At times you'll have you'll have bad quality of food in terms of it not being served hot, or at times you'll have some food we you know where the taste was not good, salt was less, this and that, you know, or it was uh, over fried and stuff like that. It could it could happen because Swiggy obviously doesn't have a system wherein they can check each food delivery uh, for for each delivery source. Obviously, it doesn't do. But what Swiggy does uh, best in terms of uh, the feedback that it got, gets in terms of a negative feedback it, that it gets from its customer is that it tweets back, I mean, uh, sorry, I mean, it, it, it handles often in a very, um, mm, uh, in a very uh, witty and at times humorous manner also. Uh, uh, of course, keeping, keeping the uh, seriousness of the fact, it's, uh, it's again very important to understand that you can't, you can't be a, a humorous or witty uh, to a serious complaint every time. So you, you also need to know where to draw the line. But Swiggy knows where to draw the line and at times they handle it with care and then of course, you know, take the necessary steps, step, so to say. Uh, again, like I said, uh, uh, you, uh, if the complaint is very serious, uh, at times a person, you know, would not like uh, somebody to, you know, uh, handle with humor with uh, would expect more seriousness so to say so you also need to know how where to draw the line so to say uh, yeah so swiggy is another i think good example great example in the indian, indian context uh, you know when it comes to uh, online reputation management now passport seva uh, why i've taken this uh, um, example is Okay, there's nothing political about this. Okay, let's not get political about this. Uh, now, during the time of the uh, late external affairs minister, uh, Mrs. Uh, late Mrs. Sushma Swaraj, you will often find her Twitter handle getting flooded with uh, so many complaints, and then she takes it up on her own. You know, that is again a online reputation management that wherein she went out of her way to safeguard her own brand, you know, in, in this case, it, it's, it's also a brand, brand right? I mean, Passport Seva is, so to say, a brand, a government brand, brand, so to say, because it's such an important thing. And then we also find a lot of uh, uh, times where she, with one tweet, helped the uh, Indians stranded somewhere in a, in, in a foreign destination. I still remember one girl, I think she was uh, stranded somewhere uh, abroad for some 10, 15 years and somebody tweeted her and then she took uh, it very seriously and then she brought, brought her back uh, to India. So that's the level of uh, online reputation management that, that happened at, of, at, 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 at a level that was as high as the external affairs ministry, so to say. 
and I think she did it very well. So what happens is that when she does that, it reflects, uh, not only it, does it reflect the um, seriousness of the of her job or her government in the case, case uh, let's say, but also it helps her to enhance her own, uh, you know, what do you say, uh, brand, so to say, you know, brand in this, in this case, of course, passport seva. Uh, it's again also a type of brand, even though it's government, so to say. So that's the way, uh, you know, online reputation management really helps uh, the respect of companies, organizations, so to say. You know, and if it does, if, if, if you really do it well, it, it gives you enough recognition as a brand, you know, it really, uh, you know, does tremendous uh, help to your brand building exercise. So. Now, how to do actually, uh, how, so how to get actually uh, do your ORM or online reputation management. Search in results. Now, removing negative content from the search results. And, and that is very important because uh, when you search something, then you find negative comments uh, from your search results that so and so company is this, that, and uh, this and that. Uh, you know, there are so many comments that uh, runs around. So, as an online reputation management uh, team, you need to ensure that the negative content is not there in the online search uh, engine uh, results, so to say. Right? You need to remove the, all those negative content. Then likewise in blogs and websites, you need to take control of the comment section. There are a lot of comments which are, you know, which are uh, not constructive criticism, they are destructive criticism, so to say. You know, you need to take care of them. You need to con uh, take control of the comment section and then, you know, you need to really monitor that day in and day out. Then review and complaints, you always need to handle with care and review the complaints. Again, like, like I said before, just because uh, some complaint, which could be genuine, you know, if it comes to you, you just can't delete it and, you know, your job is done. It will only add a bad name to your system. So you need to handle with care. You see, you know, how genuine the complaint is. If, if you really think that uh, this is a complaint that really needs to be addressed, then you also need to, you know, take handle it with care. There and there itself, and tell them, okay, we'll get back to you. You're sorry, this and that. At times, you also need to apologize, you know, if it's really your distinct uh, fault. Uh, again, that's a call that really you, you need really to take, you know, uh, that's again, it's a very sensitive thing. And uh, you need to understand the gravity of the situation if it's really going, if it's only going to worsen your case or it's going to help you as a brand, right? Social media, I mean, most of the complaints, uh, you know, that you get, it runs like fire in social media, right? So news that fly the passes is on the social media, right? So you need to take care of the social media section and ensure that it doesn't uh, uh, go, you know, beyond your control, yeah. And, uh, okay, uh, then a few of the uh, uh, online reputation management tool uh, that comes to, my, to our mind, uh, uh, our brand greater Basumo, Basumo, then SEMrush. Now, these are the tools that really helps uh, you in terms of the online reputation management. Now, quickly, I'll just show you as an example how SEMrush, for example, uh, is a good uh, online management tool. Okay. So, I'll open my SEMrush. Say, uh, now, SEMrush is not, it's not only a uh, online reputation management. Uh, online reputation management is only part of uh, the uh, SEM Rush. Uh, uh, what do you say? SEM Rush offerings. SEM Rush is basically a company which does, which which does your SEO stuff. So to say, you know, it, it helps in your keyword research. It helps in a lot of other things. Uh, other things like your position tracking, SEO. It, it basically SEO checker. Yeah, also a social media tracker and all this stuff. And brand monitoring is one of those. Uh, is one of the features. Now, when I click on, so this is SEM Rush. This thing, then there is a section called brand monitoring. Now, as you can see, when I click on this brand monitoring, what it will give is when I go to the overview section, for example. 
So for my website, which is tennisforindia.com, that I do SMrush, I use SMrush. It says that I've got total mentions of 1.1 thousand mentions, okay, with uh, backlinks zero. Now, okay, this is from uh, June 7, 2021 to 5th uh, uh, September 2021, okay. Positive mentions 293, okay. So uh, that is plus 39, 39 more. Uh, previous, as you can see, previous was uh, 254. Current, that is from uh, previous was from March 8 to June 7, uh, 2021. That was only uh, what 254. The current uh, range that is from June 7 to September 5th, 2021, 293. So a jump of 39 uh, more mentions. Uh, so likewise, if you see sentiments, positive sentiment negative sentiment, neutral sentiment, so like that, it gives you the uh, brand sentiment, so to speak, okay? So, so these are the, you know, a few tools that you can use. Uh, SMrush is one very good tool uh, to um, check your brand monitoring, to check, you know, how. So brand monitoring is nothing but um, a way of your online reputation management only, right? So these are the tools that you can as well use, uh, you know, for your, what do you say, uh, for your, as online reputation uh, management tool, yeah. So that's it, uh, uh, friends, um, uh, for today in terms of uh, online reputation management uh, topic, very important topic, you should really, really take it very seriously because ultimately it's about your own brand, uh, how your brand, how you're responding to your brands, uh, how, how you're responding to people's expectations about your brands and you really have to be very, very, uh, you know, careful about the way you're handling uh, your brand reputation. So, yeah. Thank you so much again and yes, see you soon, very soon.